Hi, I'm Dan from Gigaboots.com, and this is a trophy and perfect run guide for Dragon's Lair on the PlayStation Network. Normally, we here at Gigaboots.com do comedic video reviews and other such stuff, but I love Dragon's Lair, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is start up the game and jam the incorrect buttons until you're dead. Losing all of your lives like this will get you the hidden trophy. After getting this trophy, go into the settings and select Infinite Lives. Start the game on Home Easy Mode and enjoy. This will be by far your easiest run through. Try your best to pay attention to what's going on on screen and memorize everything because this will help greatly on your next few run throughs. After you beat the game, you'll receive a bronze trophy. The next trophy you'll want to get is Layer King, a gold trophy that will require you to get a perfect score. Select 5 lives from the settings screen and start the game on easy arcade mode. If you don't select these three options correctly, getting a perfect score is impossible. You need to make it to the last room of the game without dying once. Something that will help greatly is if you save at the beginning of every room. Then you can reload the save file if you die. One extremely important thing you may not know about to get a perfect score is, there are a total of four falling elevator scenes on a single playthrough of the game. Two of these will continue past the first three platforms all the way down to a third sequence of three platforms. You must land on the absolute lowest platform possible for maximum points, so always save before these scenes. Once you've made it to the Dragon's Lair, save. Go ahead and beat the game normally, and you'll earn the silver trophy flawless for not dying. Then reload the save file. On this run, continue battling the dragon until the final input where you stab him. Do not kill him. Do this four more times, saving at the beginning of each life, and on the fifth time, succeed. If you've done everything I've said, then you'll have 427,469 points, and will receive the Layer King trophy. Now that you've played through the game twice on easy mode, you're pretty familiar with it. So go to the settings and turn off the move guide. If you beat the game with 5 lives and no move guide on easy mode, you'll get the silver trophy, Master Knight. Next, turn the move guide back on, set your lives to 3 and select hard arcade mode. Save in the last room and beat the game twice by reloading the save file after the first time. This will earn you both Valiant Adventurer and Singe Attack. Now for the final trophy, Dragon Slayer. Turn the move guide back off, make sure your lives are set to 3 and beat the game on hard mode. Collecting the trophies in this order will allow you to naturally build skill at the game and reduce your playthroughs by 2 times total. Thank you for checking out this trophy and perfect run video guide. Special thanks to Yoshi Girl from ps3trophies.org for her written guide on the subject. If you enjoyed this video or found my voice especially sexy, feel free to check out my normal shtick at gigaboots.com.